Okay, wanted to do a quick video. One of the cool things about um, this is Koala Sampler, and well, this is Ableton, but we're gonna use Koala Sample in Ableton. You can use your iOS version as an AU. So if you go to your um, App Store, let's see if we can do this real quick. And you're on your MacBook, and you type in Koala. There we go, Koala Sampler. You'll see that you have access to your there's the mac app one and then there's the one that's in ios iphone ipad so that one that's the one you want to use if you want to try this what i'm doing so i pull it in and you'll see here's a song i just happen to have on here and thankfully i put the bpm because if you don't put the bpm you're not going to know what that song is going to be and it's going your samples won't match up so i always say name it with the bpm and the key of the song if you need that um which I didn't do the key of the song on this one, but what you can do is I have it here on a MIDI track. And if you see here, I'll pull it back up so you can keep looking at it. All the samples can be played. Now these keys up here, I'm gonna go back to the sample page right here where I played keys in. I played these in through probably AUM or something right for these chords my suggestion is draw a four bar midi or in this case these are both each four bars draw a four bar midi loop in whatever dog you're in so i'm in ableton and then find the key that it's on it's pretty simple like that this is ableton 12 so you can right click and then if i can learn the command it is i think it's option command j so let's do it option command j boom and it extends that all the way out so there's your four bars click duplicate and on the second one you're going to move it up one now that's the second piece then if you join these two together command j now you have them both together or you could just make an a bar and put the two pieces on there it's up to you all right so now that you have them what you could what i like to do is duplicate the track so if you go duplicate, where are you duplicate? Oops, hold on one second. I feel like I go to this track, go to duplicate, and then you can get rid of this. This is the drums. So I drum, I did my drums over in this one. Doesn't really matter. Erase that. And what you will see here is that now you have these two right here. So if you hit right click and freeze and flatten, then you end up with this, which is the two parts. Now I cut them in half so I could lower the volume of one. Doesn't really matter, um, but there it is. So you can hear it and I'll play it for you. I'll mute the drums so you can just hear what the... Okay, I added some drums. Now these are the drums from Koala itself. So you can see they're actually in Koala. Now if you wanna separate these, you're gonna to have to do the same thing. You would have to literally, I mean, obviously it would be quicker to stem this out, but if you don't wanna stem it out, you gotta duplicate each track and then go in and delete the parts that you don't want in there. So, you know, that's pretty much where you're at with that. Um, but I'm just saying, if you were coming in and you just wanted to bring, you wanted to use koala in here. This, I, I don't know why I would do this actually, but because you could just stem them out or send it out. But it, it's just cool that it works, <laughs> I guess. Let's say if you wanted to redo the drums in here, because the drums that I had in here might not be what you like. So now I redid the drums and it sounds like this. Actually, it doesn't sound like that. One second while I figure out why that piece is going off. Let's make sure this isn't on loop. No, it's not on loop. Okay. Anyway, all right. So here we go. 
I was playing the sequence here, my bad. So why would this be beneficial? Here's why it would be beneficial. I didn't drum this out. These, uh, th well, I, drum I did drum out this part, the kick and snare. But this part right here, the hi-hats, I use the generative stuff in here to create these hi-hats. So you got more options that you don't have in Koala. Now, it doesn't mean you can't go in Koala and sit there and drum out a track. It's pretty easy to do. And obviously, using Koala, you could get it all there. But this is nice to be able to go in and redo the drums if I want. Maybe I just started with some basic drums just to get my idea going. And now I want to go back and flesh them out and make something better. This is what this will do for you. So, so you see I did them here. And when you finish with your drums, let's say you want, I'm just gonna show you this real quick. You wanna just freeze and flatten them. Now you have your drums. You don't have to use the Koala the right app anymore. You could just be on the drums here. And you have your drum parts. I always say freeze and there you go. Command J, let's just put them together and join them. And then you could go in and manipulate these drums if you wanted to here, or even go back to the MIDI. You have it all to you have it all there. So just a cool way to bring over your sample. So let's say you started a song on your phone and now you could, if you have Ableton, they do have the ability to export to an Ableton drum rack or to an Ableton file thing and it'll bring over the sounds. I don't really care for it doing it that way. I find it to be like, I might as well just export all the sounds and just bring the sounds over stems if I'm gonna do all that. Um, it really is whatever. I mean, it doesn't make a difference to me which one you choose. It's about the same. And I don't like the way it, one thing about Ableton is they'll put the sound samples up here. Like You can delete that. It'll put the sound samples here in the session view and I tend to work in, a, in the um, arrangement view. So for me, that was a no-go. But the fact that I can just bring in the Koala sampler and then pick off the sounds that I want, as long as I know what the BPM of the song is. It's kind of a cool feature to have. I said I was gonna make this video short. That's it for this video. Um, you can see where this is going. It's getting better and things are, uh, you having more abilities to, to do more. Um, one thing that would be cool, uh, and I'll say this and end it here, is if there was a way to use Koala Sampler, and maybe in time this will get there, where you could Literally, instead of just being able to drum, I could go in and say, okay, I want to use this note repeat. Because Ableton doesn't have a great note repeat, in my opinion. There's some ones out there, but let's say if you could. Right, that would be kind of cool to better use it. Even with the mouse, it's actually still fun. I don't have a problem with it if I'm just trying to lay some quick hats down. But with no generative stuff and here, it's not so bad. You could use that instead and get the same same vibes really quickly. Okay, so that is it for this. Just wanted to show you using Koala and Ableton.